your shoulder is gonna tear apart if you do a chest fly on the bench because the fact that you're on an elevated surface, your arm comes down too low. I'm telling you, you guys, this is gonna hurt your shoulder. My elbows are touching the ground and then all the way back up, all right? Slow and controlled wins the race. You don't wanna go fast movements because you don't get the full chest contraction. Floor press, this looks like a regular bench press, you guys, but you're on the floor. Floor flies to failure, and then you do floor presses to failure, and then watch what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go to the pullovers. Can you get this thing over here? Okay, on the side, and be careful. You don't pick too heavy of a weight, because where does that weight go? Right on your face, okay? Come back here, and then squeeze the upper pecs at the top. That's how you're hitting the upper chest area. Okay, do you hear that? Come back here, and then come up to the top. Squeeze the pecs together. Squeeze it like that, okay? Squeeze the pecs. Squeeze the pecs up here. Do you see that? As I'm getting that good squeeze, you are working the upper chest because you're squeezing the pecs together. Does that make sense? Now, I want you to follow that format, okay? I'm gonna show you one more time. <clears throat> floor flies, okay? Get the elbows to the floor, okay? And that's why I told you again to not do flies on the bench. Why? Because the arm comes down too low, and when you're on the floor, the floor acts as a safety net. Then, come to the floor press, and then you do that to failure, and then you do the pec squeeze pullover, okay? Pec squeeze, up here at top. Pec squeeze, okay? All you lifters, I know that you're gonna love this sequence. Why? Because you're hitting the chest like crazy.